All right, so the artwork that I'm going to be analyzing and taking a look at is the Cloister's Cross. Uh, the artist for this is unknown, but uh, people think that they can trace it back to where it was created as the Abbey of Barry St. Edmunds, which at one point in time was one of the richest monasteries in all of England. Uh, the date that it was created was sometime between 1150 and 1160 A.D., and the medium that it was created out of was walrus ivory. Uh, the dimensions of this are 22 and 5 eighths inches by 14 and 1 fourth inches. Uh, so the time that it was created was, uh, was 1150 to 1160 AD and it was created in eastern England again at that monastery that was very rich. You know, that, that could probably that means something that it was created not one at a monastery. I know this is the cross, so I mean it's definitely gonna have ties to, to the church, but it was at a monastery, so that's that's further backing it up beyond that. Uh and a little bit of background about the time period is during this time period there was a lot of people who had some anti Jew sentiment and you know, this kind of shows up uh during this time period a lot and uh, all the Jews had been kicked out of England by the end of the 13th century. So the subject of this of this piece is, I think it talks a lot, or it's trying to show uh, Jesus Christ reign, uh, reigning supreme above all else. And I can kind of back this up as being, uh, it's a cross, A, and Jesus Christ was crucified on a cross. Uh, and B, if you look at at the actual physical cross, there there's two parts to it. There's there's the the physical cross, and it's, it's a smaller part within it. There is something that's like like some some sort of plant. Maybe it's you know uh, wheat. It's a grain or something. But whenever you think of, of of a plant growing upwards like this, you think of like life like going up. And um, and I think that's important. Second, they put Jesus Christ at the top of it. If you look, uh, they put him at the top over everything else, and I think that's kind of symbolically important because they're they're placing him above everyone else. And then again, they have a, a look to be a couple of disciples who are looking up to him, worshiping him. And it looks like by only putting the bottom half of his body, he's transcending to heaven, which I think is something that's important to note. Uh, something further. On the middle row, so on the far right hand parts, on the rightmost part of the cross, it looks like um, perhaps Jesus' dead body uh, with the people mourning over him, carrying him away. Uh, so that's what's on the right hand side, and that kind of further points to the idea that this is centric around Jesus. Uh, in the center appears to be uh, a group of people, and I, I think what they're doing here is they're looking up towards heaven. And they have some sort of document in their hand, and what I think is happening with that is maybe they're either receiving the Bible or, or they're trying to document uh, the the events that were ongoing there. They're on their knees, which is something I think is important because uh, it shows submission, and I, I think it kind of points towards the idea of of um, of prayer, so that, so that they are talking to God here because I think that it's deeply symbolic when you're on your knees that you're praying. And on the left-hand side, uh, which is kind of one of the, the final aspects of this, it appears people are documenting some sort of thing. This part is a little bit harder to break down than everything else, but all of this appears that people are on top of some some bodies. Um, perhaps they're Jewish, and the reason I say that is because part of this piece is um, is kind of an anti-Jewish type of thing. There, there's a lot of you know, smack being talked about the Jewish community, uh, and this this is supported by the idea of the words that are on the page. All these um, characters, a lot of it has to do with, uh, a lot of it has to do with talking bad about anti, uh, about Jewish people, and uh, this is kind of reflected in what's going on during the time period right now with the anti-Jew sentiment. So. This is something that's what was a trend that was happening in society is reflected in this art piece. As far as the actual material goes, um, it's made out of ivory, so walrus ivory. 
Um, I, the reason I would think this is used is because ivory is, you know, a high quality material, so they would want to use a high quality material if they were going to make a piece that, you know, that is, uh, that is, that is, uh, you know, trying to encapsulate Jesus Christ, you would want to use something nice to, to, to be the medium because you wouldn't want to use something crappy, so obviously you're going to want to use, uh, ivory, that's something that's a very high quality material. And also, the level of the uh, of the carvings on this artwork is very intricate. And I think that if you're using something like gold or any kind of heavy metal, you wouldn't be able to carve it, obviously. But you also wouldn't be able to get as high a level of detail as something like ivory because it's really malleable. It's really easy to, to scrape into. And uh, so... You, you would want to use ivory because it's easy to work with and also because you, you wouldn't want to use wood to carve into because I don't think that's as high quality of a material as ivory is. And again, that goes back towards um, to, to honoring Jesus Christ. Um, what is... Uh, so I, th I think this piece of art is important because it shows what was... what people felt to be important during that time period and obviously Jesus Christ and God were two very important things to people back then which is which is reflected in this artwork because it's showing you know people praising God it's showing people uh, watching Jesus Christ transcend to heaven and I think these are two very important themes I think and also something that's very interesting about this one is the anti-Jew sentiment that's displayed both by, you know, um, perhaps people standing on top of corpses of Jews, and and also the uh, the inscription around the outside, you know, in the writings that that uh, have a lot of anti-Jew sentiment being reflected in them. Uh, and yeah, I think that's that's what's really interesting about this piece. Thank you. Have a good day, Mr. Nesky.